but we also got a few new baits from Netbait. Uh, it's mostly new colors and, and a few new baits as well. But let's start off with some of the new colors. And you know, one of the Netbait's been around for a long time, and I don't know if it was their first bait or one of their very first early on baits. I know that was the Paca, and we got some new colors in the Paca Slim. And uh, maybe Scott, tell us a little bit about the Paca Slim and, and where you like like that kind of coming to place. And then we're kind of go through some of the new colors as well. So what is yeah, well, where's the Paca Slim coming to play for you? Yeah, we introduced the Paca Slim back when I won Beaver Lake at FLW. Uh, it's a really, really good trailer. I was using the three and a half inch Paca Slim back then on a jig as my trailer, really a compact trailer, and it really just puts out the same action as the original Paca Crawl does, except it's a solid body. So now that we know, we have the three and a half that I use on those jigs, finesse jigs and stuff in their early spring, we introduced the four inch. And what you were talking about, these baits have been selling really good, but people are using them for all different techniques. The four inch, a lot of people are punching with this bait. And with those new colors you're talking about, I mean, it's just phenomenal. I mean, we've, uh, they've worked super hard on their colors, and I mean, they're doing a phenomenal job. Keep coming out with new colors, new baits all the time. But that, that pocket slim comes in a three and a half inch and a four inch. I'll show you the difference in them. You can you can actually punch the three and a half too, but that four and a half is a really good meaty body, holds a real good. You know, I use a straight shank four out, flipping hook in that bait, holds your bait really good, doesn't tear up. But the colors you're talking about, the flare colors, and what that is is the tips. They're making these color tips. That's a sun gill flare. That's a black shadow flare. And uh, you know, that black shadow, I just got some of those in the other day. Black shadow's always been one of my best colors, especially in the South Florida, flipping anything, but now we have it in a black shadow flare, blue tips on the end, black shadow. It's really good bait. There's a, uh, you know, we designed several here. They got the, you know, I'm from the Coosa River, the Coosa Flare, the spots really love chartreuse. And that's that's a really good one. It's got your, your watermelon and your red flake in it, and then the chartreuse tips. I mean, really, really good bait. And that's the Coosa Flare. They have a, Okeechobee flare, which is the Okeechobee crawl with the blue tips. An Alabama flare, which is the Alabama crawl. Uh, green pumpkin on top, orange on the bottom, and then it's got the orange tips. Green pumpkin on top, orange on the bottom with the orange tips. It's really, really good bait. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, like I said, a Delta flare, that's one that, you know, that I didn't know much. I don't, I didn't use much red, but I catch a lot of fish, have red pinchers in the throat, and I've been using it and had great success. That's a really cool color with the red in it. People like some baits with red. That Delta Flare is going to be one that will help you out. And, uh, you know, like I said, that's that's pretty much my favorite. The My favorite is the Black Shadow Flare and the Sun Gill Flare. You got your brim colors in that Sun Gill and then your Black Shadow, which, I mean, black and blue, you can use it in clear water, dirty water, whatever you want. So uh, black and water, you can't – black and blue, you can't go wrong. We had a saying in Alabama, it says black and blue will pay you. So, uh, you know, that's a great color, whether it's a jig or a, or a pocket slim. Very cool. Like I said, these guys are available for pre-order right now. And another new bait, uh, not so new bait, some new colors, it's the dagger creature bait. Obviously a, a bait you'd probably use in some similar situations uh, as the, the pack of craw. But where do you see the, the dagger craw coming into play and how do you utilize that bait? And then more specifically, we, we have a few new colors. Uh, the one we have here on hand is the, the Bama Bug. There's also the Red Craw, the Sun Perch. You guys can check those out on the website. But again, where do you use the dagger and, and what situations? And where do you see that Bama Bug really come into play for you? Man, that, that dagger sort of taking everybody by storm. I mean, that bait is phenomenal. It's catching on all over the country. I've caught a lot of big fish on it this year. Uh, you know, I mean, it's a punch bait is what it's designed for. It's punching thick matted grass ounce ounce and a half even up to two ounce weight you know it's that real thin outside edges of it's real thin uh jt kenny has been killing big ones on it in florida i think that bait will actually fold to go into tighter places because the real thin edges but right down the center it's really meaty and it holds your hook good the hookup ratio on it is really good the color selection is going to be phenomenal i mean from the black shadow the green pumpkin that they have the they also have it in the sun gill they're going to have it in tilapia, which is, I mean, becoming one of my favorite colors. Uh, this tilapia color, we're going to have, I mean, it's phenomenal. But there's so many different ways to use this bait. And I've done it a lot this year. I've did some stuff 
out on the water with social media and stuff, not only punching, but I've had some phenomenal days threading that whole bait onto my jig as a jig trailer. And then you got the back half of it hanging out. Let me, I'm going to grab a jig right quick. Take one second. Take your time. Uh, but you got that whole, you got that whole trailer hanging out and it gives that jig a different action, a glide a little bit through the water instead of that kicking action behind it that you normally have on a pocket cross. Just something they haven't seen. That punching, and then I did some videos and stuff actually cutting the wings off of that bait and using it for a Ned rig, cutting it down to whatever size you want and kill big spots on it at Smith Lake this year. But that's it as a trailer. You can up, open up the tails if you want to, give it a little bit more action, but that's on a that's on a Matt Heron dirty jig right there, and that's just straight out of the pack, hanging out the back, killer jig trailer. Like I said, you can cut it down, use it for a Ned rig. There's so many different ways you can use that bait. It's going to be a good one for a long time. So uh, make sure to tune back in, and for some more iCast coverage, Scott, I appreciate that you taking the time to join us today and show us all the new stuff, and uh, good luck up there uh, in New York. Hey, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, and I sure hope we get to go and uh, get to use some of these new products up there, catch some big smallmouth guys. Y'all have a great one. You too, sir. Thank you.